Redesigned just last year, the Colorado brings the newest style, trends, and technology to the midsize truck market. Chevy has also streamlined the configuration of the Colorado, making it exclusive with a four-door and five-foot box. And while I think that eliminates some of the uh, perks of buying a Colorado, namely having a work truck with a two-door configuration. It definitely streamlines the buying process and helps uh, Chevy definitely streamline their production process and is definitely the way that the market is going. So forgive the fogginess that we're filming this video in today. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's talk about the trims offered with the Colorado really quick. At the base, you have a WT or work truck. Then you have the LT, the Z71, which is the focus of this video, the Trail Boss, the ZR2, and then you have the Bison Edition ZR2, which is new for 2024 and has a dedicated off-road focus. We did drive the Bison Edition, I think the 2019 Colorado, so last generation. And it was a beast and I really liked it, but this week we're driving the Z71 and I got a lot to say about this too. So let's get into the exterior design. Then we'll talk about the bed and the engine. We'll look at the interior, we'll take it for a drive. We'll talk about the price and we'll wrap it up with some of my final thoughts. Let's go. First off, let's talk about this color because I really like trucks, Jeeps, anything kind of in this vein in a color like this. It's called Sand Dune Metallic. It is that desert sand look. And again, it's a look I like on a lot of different vehicles. Definitely fits this truck really well. Again, last year, we got an all new look for the Colorado, that new grill, and here it's completely blacked out. We got new slim LED headlights. Here in the Z71, we have red tow hooks and a really aggressive front end. We do have fog lights there. Along the side, we have 18 inch Android dark full gloss aluminum wheels. Those wheels enhance the rugged look, but also are wrapped with all terrain tires, which gives it more capability off-road. You can see our gloss black mirrors, the Colorado badge on the door, the Z71 badge here on the rear fender. We do have a built-in step on the rear bumper to help step up and get into that bed. You've got LED tail lights and a tailgate with the Chevrolet badge stamped into it and the Colorado badge there on the driver's side of the tailgate. All in all, I think it's a great look at a great size. Let's go ahead and drop that tailgate and check out the bed. The bed of the Colorado is designed for practicality and durability, featuring a versatile and spacious cargo area, integrated tie downs and storage compartments, optional bed liner for added protection, an innovative tailgate with an integrated storage compartment for small items, making it ideal for both work and recreational use. And again, this is a five foot box and the only configuration that you get with the new Colorado. Our Z71 comes with the 2.7 liter Turbo Max engine, and it is the heart of the Colorado, offering impressive power and efficiency. The standard output is 237 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. But here in the Z71, we have the high output version. This produces 310 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque. Paired with the engine is an eight-speed automatic transmission, providing smooth and responsive shifting for an enhanced driving experience. We'll touch on that more as we drive, but first let's move into the interior. All right, let's talk about the interior here. And for the Z71, we do have perforated leather appointed seating. We have red stitching with some extra red uh, accents. You have red accents along the doors and the dash. All really nice and I really like the black on black theming of the whole truck. Again, with those red accents, even though it doesn't really tie in too much to the exterior color, it does tie into the Z71 badging, so that's cool. Let me pick you up and uh, give you a good look around. And we'll start off by kicking it on. Push button start, obviously.
And the first thing we can look at is the 11.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system powered by Google. It does have Google Assistant, so you can say, hey Google, and it will pop up and uh, try to assist you. We also do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, availability. You have Alexa. We have pages like Vehicle Status, which show a ton of great information here. As you can see below, we do have some physical buttons for things like the heated and cooled seats, some of the AC and heat controls. Of course, you do have controls in the touchscreen as well. And just like other GM vehicles that we've driven recently, you do have things that are only in the screen that are a bit confusing, like the lights. If you wanna put the lights off of auto into having them on all the time, it is a function here in the touchscreen menu, not a physical knob anywhere. Same with the fog lights, the auto high beam. You can see we do have a hill descent control. Most of this buried in the controls in the screen. Moving further down, you have more controls here. You have a button that rolls down all the windows at one time. You have your auto start stop button here so you can kill the auto stop feature. Your hazard lights, a button for your lane keeping assist or lane keeping warning and a button for some auxiliary power. You do have both USB type A and USB type C charging and both of these interface with the infotainment system. We do have a wireless charger for your phone. Moving back a bit more, we do have the traditional gear shifter. Put it into reverse. We do have a backup camera. You can have a hitch camera here and you can have it from a parking or trailer assist. We don't get a 360 camera. Wish it did have one but on this Z71 it does not. You can also see here our driving mode selector. So twisting it will change your modes and then actually clicking on it here will change you from two wheel high to four wheel high to four wheel low. And of course those drive modes are normal, off-road, tow haul. We also have a terrain mode which requires you to put it into four wheel high to be able to select. And they got a cool feature here that will give you information about that mode that you selected. Behind that is our electronic parking brake, cup holders, your console, again the red stitching. It's a pretty rough material here but not terrible. You do have your console that's decently deep with an accessory power charger down there. Some more cup holders for the rear seats. And the rear seats themselves are decently sized. We had the kids back here as we're driving it throughout the week. They were fine. Obviously having a mid-sized truck, one of the things you're sacrificing is a little bit of interior volume. But for the most part, this uh, Colorado has decent sized interior. Moving here to the steering wheel, it is full leather. You do have red stitching. You have all the GM controls on the steering wheel here, including the buttons behind the steering wheel for your volume control and your media controls on the other side. You have a single stock here that controls your windshield wipers and turn signals and your bright light function. Down on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you have a trailering control here, which is a great to have. And then of course your driver information display, a full 11 inch LCD screen, nice and bright, lots of information here. One thing you can see as we change it from two wheel drive to four wheel high or even four wheel low, that is indicated down here on the screen. You can see things like our average MPG here, averaging anywhere from 18 to 19 miles per gallon during our full week driving this thing. You can also change the design of the screen here or what you wanna see. You've got a button here on the steering wheel that will flip through different modes here. So depending on what you wanna see at the time, you can see that here on the screen, which is fantastic. But yeah, I think that's a good rundown of the interior. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to address them after the fact. But right now I think it's time to get this thing out on the road, take it for a drive and see what we think. Let's go. Traditional body on frame trucks like the Colorado have come a long way in terms of driving and handling. The 2.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder is responsive when you press the gas and makes plenty of low end torque, which is helpful for city driving 
and towing alike. The transmission shifts smoothly and quickly and the brakes provide sufficient stopping power for emergency braking and are easy to modulate for smooth stops. Of course, the Z71 trim being more mild-mannered, more for the road, but still capable if you're willing to give up some of that road comfort for more capability off the beaten path, you'll definitely enjoy the Trail Boss or the ZR2 versions, which again, we've taken a ton of these off-road and they're very capable. Driving the 2024 Colorado Z71 is a great experience. The TurboMax engine delivers ample power for both city driving and highway cruising, while the all-terrain tires and four-wheel drive system ensure confident handling in off-road conditions. The suspension is well-tuned to provide a balance of comfort and control, making it suitable for a variety of driving scenarios. This high output engine variant provides a notable boost in power, enhancing acceleration and towing capabilities, and all around just feels really good. With all that said, let's talk about price and some of the competition out there. All right, so let's quickly talk about the price and competition, then we'll jump out and I'll wrap it up with some of my final thoughts. First off, the starting price of the Colorado is pretty in line with the rest of the competition out there. You do have the Ranger, you have the Tacoma, you have the Frontier, all pretty new in style and design recently, which is fantastic. I think the midsize market continues to be a force which I'm all in favor for and all of these trucks competing on looks on capabilities and on price is a fantastic thing the WT the base of the Colorado starts around $32,000 the bison can hit all the way up in the $60,000 range this one here the Z71 with a little bit of the goodies that we have had a full MSRP of $46,000, $47,000, so just under 50 grand, which I think is pretty good for what you get. But let's jump out. I'll give you some of my final thoughts. We'll wrap this thing up, and y'all can let me know what you think in the comments. All right, guys, so there's no doubt I'm a big fan of the Colorado. I'm a big fan of the midsize truck market. I think the Ranger is great. I think the Tacoma is great. I even like these smaller trucks with the Maverick and the Santa Cruz all great vehicles and for me personally this is just about the perfect truck perfect size perfect package and everything which does make me mildly sad at it's almost fifty thousand dollar price but that kind of comes with the market today anyways and this one with the z71 the beefy tires the high output engine all the goodies that you get inside i think is worth it and again for me is just about the perfect truck. Of course, if you wanna get a very base model and just use and abuse the truck, the work truck, the WT is probably more the way to go. But again, the Z71 package, spot on for me, definitely recommend it. And if you know me, I'm not really a huge Chevy fan, but these Colorados and the GMC Canyon both fantastic trucks. With that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the new Colorado in the Z71. If you want to see us drive the Bison, let me know. I'll either try to get it for a full week or hopefully it'll be at an event, an off-roading event, and we can really put it through its paces. But until then, subscribe to the channel. We do a different review every week, all sorts of different vehicles. If you're into automotive reviews, definitely worth a subscribe. You should also check out txgarage.com for more written reviews as well as event news coverage from a lot of great authors over there. Really worth checking out. But with that, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching.